Hi Earth Signs, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot. I'm here to do your single segment for the next seven days, the seven days ahead. This is for Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, single. You're absolutely single. You're completely single. You're single, 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 single. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, star sign, sun sign. Your main sign, that's the same. Star sign and sun, sun sign are the same sign. So if you, it's the same. So if you are Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, that is your main sign, this reading is for you. We're going to get one of these. We're going to break into that. It's for the next seven days. What do we got for Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn? What's happening? What's happening? Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Angel of Balance. Looks like somebody from above, an angel, is, is, is bringing you some sort of balance. I mean, the card speaks for itself. Something is going to be balanced out this week. Who knows what it is? Let's find out. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Now, I don't know. Is that like an hourglass or something? She's very uh, serene. Serenity. That's a very serene angel right there. A lot of serenity in that card. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is balance as well, right underneath it. This is balance as well. So something is is being balanced out this week. Something you it looks like you guys have held on to something that doesn't serve you. And some sort of decision is being made which is going to bring balance to your life. This is a change. A change is being made, and it could have to do with something that you have been crying about, grieving over. Maybe you have been conflicted, but now you are receiving some sort of balance. Something is being balanced out. Oh, fresh new start, huh? I love it. Starting at zero. This is releasing something that you held on to, starting, starting fresh, starting over, starting a brand new journey without taking the past, in which you focused on the past for quite some time, right? Right? You have a new opportunity for love. Now you got to make a choice. Unless you want to keep playing the game. You're being offered an opportunity from somebody to bring balance to your life and to stop playing some sort of game that you have been focused on. You have an opportunity for a fresh new start if you release and make a choice. Interesting. Oh boy. Oh boy. What else? Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Oh. You've sacrificed your time and your energy too long. You have. For something that was unstable. And I think that you're turning your back from this false foundation. You guys are turning your back on something that was never solid. You're making a decision to drop it. Turn your back. Let it crumble. I don't need it. I don't want it. I don't care about it. I'm crossing that bridge. Somebody is about to go through a new door. They are making a choice. There's no doubt. There's this. Is the, somebody is making a decision. Perhaps to choose. I mean, this is past and future. This is past and future. I mean, yeah, this is. So somebody is making a choice. Somebody is in the process of making a choice that they have been really conflicted about making. And it's a big one. Fives are major life changes, major life choices, and these two fives are right next to each other. And twos are choices as well. 
And then, so we have this two, this two, and then we have the two of cups here, and this is focused on the loss. Somebody is deciding to make a choice in regards to love. So it's decision-making time this week. Oh, something's been going on behind the scenes, right? There's something has been. There's been some sort of, uh, something has been hidden. Something has been hidden. There's been some, somebody's been playing a game with you. Be careful. Be careful. Somebody is playing a game. Oh! We could be dealing with the Pisces here. We could be dealing with the Pisces. Somebody's been playing a game. Son of a bitch. Make me want to puke. Anyway, um... Now, this is receiving. Receiving, because this is receiving. This is about give and take. No longer stuck. Somebody has sacrificed enough time and energy in playing a game with a liar. I mean, this is deception right here. This is playing a game. So I feel like this is a week of making a choice, a decision to stop, to stop playing the game, to stop focusing on the hurt, because it's three of cups, it's the hurt, and realize that there's another opportunity. Cross that bridge. This is a sacrifice, and this is a sacrifice. Somebody has sacrificed enough, and now, you know, it looks like there's somebody who is wanting a fresh new start or they're about to have a fresh new start. They are no longer hanging around. I'm no longer hanging around. Starting in a new direction. Closing that box. Releasing. So I see a fresh new journey here starting at zero after making a decision to stop sacrificing yourself for a lie. I got to get some more cards here. What is this six of coins? This is getting what you deserve. This is getting something. Getting what you deserve for something. What are you going to get? You're going to get something. <laughs> oh, the ten of cups. Extreme happiness. Love. So, yeah, you know, you're going to get something. Somebody is going to stand up after they have been stuck. Somebody's going to stand up after they have been stuck. After they've been playing games. Now, I don't know who this is. I don't know who this is. I really don't know who this is. Um, there's an opportunity to come together and have a relationship. Somebody is going to... I don't know. <sighs> Somebody sees your worth. Somebody sees your your abundance. They see who you are. And, oh my God. Something's been going on behind the scenes. And this person is going to make some sort of offer. Oh God. I think I need to stop. This is starting to scare me. Love. A two of cups. And the two of cups, somebody is, is, you are looking at love. You are going to be looking at love this week. Whether you want it or not. Whether, oh, son of a bitch. So, you're, you're going to be forced to make some sort of decision whether you want to accept love or not. You know, you're, you're going to be looking at love, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Love and a relationship. I mean, I can't make that up. I can't. I can't. So, yeah, you're, you're definitely going to be looking at a partnership. So I think that you are going to be making a decision as to whether 
you know, you want to have a partnership. Twos are partnerships, okay? Two, 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 okay? So you're going to be presented with an opportunity to partner up with somebody and bring balance back to your life after you have been in some sort of conflict or been in some sort of battle or playing some sort of game for quite some time. There's an opportunity for a fresh new start here. Starting over, starting at zero, leaving the past behind. This is what this is. This is leaving the past behind. There's an opportunity for, for love here. And, you know, even this could even be, lead to marriage. I mean, this is a, this is it. This is, this is like a marriage kind of thing. Um, so yeah, I feel like you are going to be presented with some sort of a decision. There is going to be a decision that is going to be need to be made in regards to what path you want to take and whether you're being lied to or deceived or not, you're going to have to be, you know, grounded while you're making this decision and make a choice. <laughs> oh. So, yeah, that's what I have. I feel like you are going to be presented with a opportunity to, to definitely make a choice. It's a it's choice. It's decision-making time. You are going to be presented with an opportunity to choose between two paths, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. And one of them is probably a soulmate connection. So, uh, good luck and uh, be careful. Be really careful. Um, it looks like uh, this is the answer to your prayers because this converts to a three. It's like your prayers have been heard and something is is coming and it is in regards to love. So you are, I mean, you're the only one of these signs that got the two of cups. And you basically got it twice, okay? So you have an opportunity for, for, for love here. If you can cross that bridge, and if you are willing to start over, you've got to be willing to start over at zero without bringing the past because the fool doesn't bring the past. You've got to be willing to start at zero. So, um, yeah. That's what I have for the singles for the week ahead. Be prepared for some sort of person to stand up and come forth with some sort of truth and you're going to be looking at an opportunity for love good luck